I'm going to show you how to transfer a design onto a pot and a couple different ways you could freehand it and just scratch it into the clay. It is easiest to do either that, just scratch it in freehand or trace a design that you put onto the pot. Uh, it's easiest to do that when it is at leather hard or just before leather hard. So when it's a little, a little soft, but not completely wet. And these pots though are completely bone dry. So it's gonna be a little bit more challenging, but I will show you how, how I'm going about that issue. Basically, I'm just gonna dunk it in water, get it soft again, and then add the design to it. Now, if you are smart and you don't let your pots get bone dry like I have, uh, it's, it's gonna be a lot easier for you. What you're gonna need is the design. I have these uh, logos. These are for logo for a company and it's a commission that I'm working on. And they are just printed on just normal copy paper, just out of a normal printer. You can get specific transfers where it's the ink is actually like an underglaze that you then put on the pot and then fire it and it melts and goes there. I'm not doing that because those are really expensive. They can be really expensive unless you have access to a really good deal. Uh, compared to just printing on paper and tracing it on, super easy. So, how do I do that? So I dunk the pot in the water. So just this half, this is the face that I want the design to go on. And you can see it's drying off really fast because it's soaking up the water. So I'm gonna dunk it again. And then I'm also going to get the back side of the paper wet and line it up and just set it on. And spread it around just like a temporary tattoo. So there, now it is stuck to the pot. So once you have the design on the pot, just take a normal ballpoint pen, trace it. That's going to leave a mark in the clay, a little indentation, wherever you draw. So a pretty simple design like this is perfect because I'm just outlining it. And then, once you do that, peel it off and see now I can see the design the next step take a little wood tool with a point on it and I'm just gonna make the lines up stand out a bit more so that way when glaze is on it I can still find the design and I won't lose it that's how you do that